So these KVMs are not only great for managing computers, servers, and gaming consoles, but also for surveillance systems. So we set up a surveillance system here that has two different DVRs, as well as our house system, which we're bringing in through an HDMI extender here, right here into input number three. Now the last segment, we did an extender going out, and now we have an extender coming in. So input one here is our DVR on the left, and we can control that with a mouse. We can make this full screen. Then we can switch over to input two. And the same thing, we're gonna have mouse control here, and we're gonna be able to control the DVR however we want to. And if we go over to input number three here, well, that's coming in through the extender, and we don't have a data connection, so we don't have any mouse control. So we're really using the KVM as this hybrid video switch slash KVM switch. And one thing you can notice is there's no computer here, there's no keyboard. We're really showing off the versatility of this KVM being that hybrid type of a switch between the KVM and a video switch. Now, when you have security systems, quite often you wanna have a whole bunch of different displays throughout your house or your warehouse or building or what have you. So here, I think we have like six different TVs all set up to our security system. So we're gonna demo this here with an HDMI splitter where we have four feeds going out to different areas. One is here locally with our station right here. And now we're gonna go over to our living room setup where we have Jaime watching some heartthrob movie on Netflix. Jaime, go ahead and switch it over to the security system. So here, if you're watching TV at home, you can easily switch over and see what's going on outside your house or inside your house, depending on where you have your camera set up. And if you're within range, you can always use the IR extender for the KVM to be able to switch inputs. So you can start rotating through those inputs on your TV here. Let's go back over to input number three. Now our next station over here is a quad monitor video wall. And actually we're working on our next live stream. So something you might wanna subscribe for, we're actually gonna do four player split screen Mario Kart where each player gets its own screen. Super, super cool. Anyways, let's switch over to our security system here. Now, if you notice, we had the setup so we have four different uh, cameras and each camera gets its own display. This is what it would look like if you had it full screen. But we think it looks pretty cool when we have it set up with four cameras to be able to see a little bit more of what's going on. Now, our last station that we have over here is our work from home desktop setup. So we have the KVM routed to this monitor here so we can see what's going on. And let's say that we're working on our laptop here. Well, you might be out of range, maybe across the house. And so what we did is we set up an RS-232 connection to be able to switch from our office here. We have this Avico USB-C to RS-232 cable, a 25-foot RS-232 cable coming into the laptop. Then we downloaded, installed our switch controller. We connected to, to COM3. And then now we can easily switch just by clicking the button here from PC1, PC2, PC3. So you can see it comes right up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and break all this down and we're gonna come back with a Pi KVM setup. And we're gonna show you how you can use the KVM and in your inputs from anywhere in the world. It's super cool. We'll be right back.